aquí en Auto 060 transmitiendo en vivo desde el Convention Center en Miami Beach y como decía aquí tenemos un invitado muy especial a buena suerte back to English now because we have a really special guest Mr. Endorin, President CEO of the Collection the best dealership in South Florida uh, That's so nice of you to say, thank you I think so too Absolutely, I mean, if we go through your lineup I think most people, everybody I think will agree with our, both our opinion Yeah, well, we're selling dreams at the Collection so uh, absolutely the cars are fantastic So for people who don't live in South Florida and don't know what, what the collection is, can you please go a little bit and tell us a little bit the story, a little bit how about the cars that you sell there? Yeah, well, what we've done is we've put seven brands all under one roof. So what's fantastic is you can come in there and hang out and have some fun and just walk from showroom to showroom to showroom. And we've got Audi and Porsche, uh, Ferrari, Maserati, uh, Aston Martin, Jaguar, and we've just added McLaren. McLaren came in uh, uh, just under a year ago and we're already the number one dealer in the world, so it's pretty exciting. I was, I was at your dealership last Saturday when you have the track day, and uh, people from uh, McLaren were saying that that's pretty impressive, that in less than a year, that a fantastic car, which uh, has a lot of Formula One technology, uh, and it's been selling for less than a year, and already your dealership is at number one in the world. That, how, how did you do that? <laughs> well, you know, I guess the clients, we have to thank our customers, our customer base, and, you know, Miami is a place that everybody loves to drive their cars. You know, there's really three car capitals in the United States. It's Miami, uh, L.A., and New York. But in Miami, we love our cars. We love the newest. And we have our beautiful weather, and there's nothing like a sports car in Miami. And we also like the latest and the greatest. So um, when the McLaren came out, we had an awful lot of people that understood it. it It's a Formula One technology and knew the history of the car and just couldn't wait to see what that type of knowledge and experience um, would bring to a road car. And the car is absolutely fantastic. Zero to 60 and under three seconds. It's the lightest, strongest uh, sports car on the road. And, and what they set out was a, a very interesting uh, goals. They wanted the fastest car, the lightest car, that was uh, the stop the quiz, quickest, that was the strongest, that handled the best. You name it, they wanted to be best at it. And they really did a fantastic job. And the number one dealership in the world, too, right? The number one dealership in the world, the collection, yes. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. So can I tell us about your uh, display here at the Auto Show, one uh, million dollar uh, alley. But well, what happened is a, a number of years ago, uh, we had Million Dollar Alley. We got away from it with, uh, a bit with the, with the downturn in the economy, but uh, now they brought it back this year. Uh, the, we were in the main hall with everyone else before, and we love Million Dollar Alley, so we're excited to be back. Last time was 2008. And we have a Ferrari display there, uh, four different model Ferraris. Uh, we have the 458 Spider. Uh, which is uh, the latest and greatest. We have uh, actually Dwayne Wade, those of you who are from Miami, his actual car is here on display. Uh, we're sold out for oh, over three years, so we had to borrow one from him. Uh, we, in the Aston Martin display, we have the new Vanquish now. That car is not even out yet. The, the Vanquish that is here was air freighted in from, from England for this auto show, and it's absolutely phenomenal. It's the most elegant, beautiful sports car going, the Aston Martin. And next to that, we have the McLaren. Uh, we've got two examples of, of that car, and across uh, from there is Maserati. Uh, yeah, the Aston Martin, actually, yeah, this is the debut for this auto show, and nobody else has seen it in the United States, so that's a great thing. And you're talking about um, running out of those fantastic cars, and you are um, having uh, the one from uh, Wayne Wade, uh, so then to show here in the auto show. How big is that demand for that kind of cars here in South Florida? Well, um, it's huge. Um, it, we actually struggle with it. It's, it's, it's an interesting thing. You, you really would like to have cars that everybody wants, but it's also one of the reasons why a Ferrari does so well on residual value. It really holds its value extremely well. They don't just build cars to demand. They build a certain number of cars every year. Um, maybe you'll get, it's a little under 2,000 this year that will come into the United States, and that's it. So um, it goes on for years and years and years. So. Um, That, that we'd like to keep everybody happy. We try very hard, uh, but some people do have to wait. Exactly. Uh, so, uh, talking about waiting, McLaren is coming with the second model, right? The Spider is coming up. When is that going to be available? Uh, the Spider will be after the first of the year, and you've got so it's the same as the 12C coupe that we have, but it's got the folding hard top, and uh, you get to hear that unbelievable engine uh, with the top down. Perfect, perfect for Miami weather. Yeah, exactly. That's what we're talking about, Miami weather.
Uh, some people up north, uh, they cannot enjoy the convertibles <laughs> in the winter. And here in Miami, actually, this is the best time of the year to drive fantastic cars. Yeah, it doesn't get any better from October to April in Miami, as you know, is the season. And in order to drive them up north, they're going to have to put the heater on and, and really bundle up with a winter coat, but not us. We're very fortunate where we live, and I think that's why we like our cars. We get to enjoy it in such a beautiful atmosphere. Well, Gary, and uh, for people who don't live in Miami and want to come to Miami and visit your dealership, uh, can you share us with some information? Where can they find information about the collection? Sure. We're, we're in Coral Gables, uh, the corner of Bird Road and uh, Ponce de Leon Boulevard, uh, very close to South Beach. It's only about 15 minutes. We actually are on the uh, Coral Gables does a, uh, a tourist uh, a trolley, and we're actually on the stop. So you just get on the trolley, and they'll tell you all about us, because we'd love to have you stop in and say hi. Yeah, it's a beautiful building. Not only the the, the, the showroom, but uh, the, 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 the the garages where they fix the cars. I mean, that's like, uh, you can eat out of the floor in that place. Yeah, well, thank you. Yeah, there's 85 air conditioned service base, and it's on the second level. A lot of people don't realize that, so it's it's up high, and, and uh, we're all, all ready to service the cars. It's very, very nice. We'd love to show it to anybody who'd like to see it. Excellent. Thank you very much again for your time, and congratulations on uh, your display here at the Auto Show in Miami. Thank you very much. Excellent. Pues ahí teníamos a Ken Goyne de, de Collection aquí en Coral Gables y como dijimos es eh, una atracción turística el, el, el dealership. Es un edificio, como decía, precioso de varios pisos. En el, en el primer piso tienen los displays con vista a la calle, obviamente, y, y uno se da realmente gusto pasando por ahí. Eh, viendo los uh, McLaren, los Aston Martin, los Ferrari, los Maserati, todos realmente autos espectaculares. Así que parece increíble, pero se, se nos está yendo el tiempo rápidamente. Eh, ha pasado una hora aquí en, en, el auto, en el Auto 060, aquí desde el Auto Show de Miami, en el Convention Center. Y Lenny, bueno, ¿qué te ha parecido todo esto que has visto por acá? Cuéntame, eh, mientras estuvimos con las entrevistas, eh, con todos nuestros invitados, ¿te diste alguna vuelta más? ¿Qué más has visto aquí en el Miami Auto Show? Bueno, Oye, cómo corre el tiempo cuando se pasa bien, ¿no? <risa> no, que es, esto es una maravilla. Se ven unos carros preciosos. Se, todo, todo de primera categoría, de, de primera clase. El eh, International, el Miami International Auto Show, con el cambio de nombre también. A, es una gran cosa para, para, para Miami, ¿no? Y ahí, como decía el señor Ken Goring de The Collection, es realmente es impresionante el mercado de Miami, cómo uno se va ahí, pasa por Ocean Drive y siempre que vienen amigos de visita de otros países, de otros lugares, siempre los llevo por ahí por Ocean Drive y les digo, mira, en los próximos cinco minutos va a pasar un Ferrari, un Maserati, un Bentley, eh, un Aston Martin o una Bugatti. Y a veces pasan todos en los cinco minutos. Así es, así es. Aquí en Miami, bueno, la cantidad de carros que hay. Y a uno dicen, ah, este carro es demasiado, demasiado caro y... Y tú ves que ves, y, y gente hasta espera por esos vehículos, no esperan meses cuando ponen las órdenes. Aquí hay vehículos para todos, aquí hay vehículos para todos. Exactamente, lo que decía Ken Gordon, que mira, que Dane, Dane Wade, el, la estrella del Miami Heat, ha tenido que prestar su Ferrari para que lo muestren aquí porque simplemente no hay. Vaya problemita que tiene el señor Gomin en The Collection. Ah, sí, sí, no, no, es, es un problema. Cuando la gente quiere un vehículo, eh, espera, paga y carros de lujo son bien difíciles de venir. Exactamente, pues eh, muchas gracias a todos. Quiero agradecer nuevamente a Iracema Torres en la producción, a Oscar Rodríguez, eh, el operador aquí en el board desde el Convention Center, también a Santiago Rodríguez, el ingeniero, y Richard Bichara, que nos ha ayudado allá desde el estudio central de Cristina Radio Network aquí en Sirius XM Radio. Y bueno, eh, toda la información que hemos compartido aquí en el Auto Show de Miami desde el Convention Center está por supuesto en nuestra página de Facebook, facebook.com slash Cristina Radio. Y no se, puede, no se olviden que también me pueden seguir personalmente en Twitter, eh, arroba Javier Mota, eh, también en Facebook, en YouTube, eh, por todas partes. Y también nos pueden llamar aquí a la emisora para compartir todas sus ideas. Así que 1 o 1888 9 Cristina. Aquí la Seba me está haciendo recordar la tarea. Eh, muchas gracias, ha sido un show espectacular Muchas gracias Lenny Y esperamos eh, que no pase tanto tiempo Sin que no nos reunamos eh, tú, el chino y yo en el estudio Con mucho gusto, siempre es un placer estar contigo Javier Y hasta la próxima, que sea la próxima semana seguramente Muchas gracias, esto ha sido Auto 060 Edición especial desde el Miami International Auto Show Desde el Convention Center en Miami Beach No se vayan, la próxima semana nos esperamos en otro show especial de Auto 060 Thank <laughs> you.